Welcome back to Earth from Space. Copernicus Sentinel-2 takes us over the Galapagos Islands, a volcanic archipelago situated around a thousand kilometers west of Ecuador in the Pacific Ocean. The archipelago consists of 13 major islands and a handful of smaller islands and islets scattered across approximately 60,000 square kilometers of ocean. Repeated volcanic eruptions and ongoing seismic activity have helped form the rugged mountain landscape of the islands. In this image, captured in September 2020, several circular volcanic cones can be seen atop the various islands. The largest island of the archipelago, Isabella, is visible in the center. Around 132 kilometers in length, the island's distinctive seahorse shape is the result of the merging of multiple large volcanoes into a single landmass. The five major volcanoes seen on the island are, from north to south, Wolf, Darwin, Alcedo, Sierra Negra, and Cerro Azul. Two of the island's volcanoes, Ecuador and Wolf, lie directly on the equator. At the southern end of the island, hills covered with forests can be seen in bright green, separating the Sierra Negra, the most active of the Galapagos volcanoes, from the sandy coastline, partially visible here owing to cloud cover. Tortuga Island, named for its distinct shape, can be seen southeast from Isabella. The tiny island is actually a collapsed volcano that is a nesting location for a variety of seabirds. The second largest island of the archipelago, Santa Cruz, can be seen to the right of Isabella. Its capital, Puerto Arroya, is the most populated urban center in the islands. The Galapagos Islands are best known for the diverse array of plant and animal species, many of which are endemic which means that they are not found anywhere else in the world. These include the giant Galapagos tortoise, the marine iguana, and the Galapagos penguin, the only species of penguin that lies north of the equator. These species were observed by Charles Darwin during the voyage of the HMS Beagle in 1835 and inspired his theory of evolution by natural selection. Copernicus Sentinel-2 is a two-satellite mission each satellite carries a high-resolution camera that images Earth's surface in 13 spectral bands. The mission is mostly used to track changes in the way land is being used and to monitor the health of our vegetation.